Hello, and welcome back, where today we're going to be discussing trends on Google. Yeah! <laughs> I forgot to like introduce I was the waiting weirdos for sitting it. next to me. <laughs> so, this here is my friend Tim, and he's on YouTube at Got Awesome Gaming, or something of that nature. He's much more seasoned at this whole YouTube life than I am, so... We just filmed a video in which I played some games with yes. them. Yes! Uh, it was fantastic! I'm sorry, I'm like talking over you. No, it's fine. I, somebody's got to talk and speak in <laughs> sentences, and I don't think it's going to be me. So, I'm more than happy to have you along here. Yes, I'm um, excited to be here. But yeah, so I just played my first game of League of Legends ever, and it was a blast! She did freaking amazing. If anybody doesn't know about like League of Legends or anything, like. Okay, so I've gone over to Google Trends on my laptop here, and uh, we are going to look at the thing that says trending now. And it's pretty cool because the very first thing, and I have not looked into this whatsoever, is Jupiter Ascending is one of the top searches from today. Alright. Uh, it has over 200,000 searches in the United States, of course. <laughs> so it's a movie. Apparently. Which, now I feel like a dummy because I thought... It meant the planet was like gonna be visible. I mean, <sighs> I'm you a little think disappointed. It would be visible with how One in myself, is. and uh, two in just society. I got really excited about space there for a second. And it I has, mean, Mila Kunis. Is a yeah, Mila Kunis and Channing Tatum are starring in this movie <laughs> called Jupiter Ascending. I'm really kind of upset. Like, this isn't fair. <laughs> All right. Now that we've been thoroughly disappointed by that, and we're not talking about how could they be planets, disappointed? They have us to watch. I'm pretty disappointed that that was about a movie and not about the planet Jupiter. But I also am just hey. disappointed in my intellectual ability. The SpongeBob movie is the next trending topic. Cool. I mean, apparently we need to go see a movie. Like, what are we doing here? Hmm. I'm really upset. Um, Can I get my honest opinion about this SpongeBob SquarePants movie? Yeah, sure. Okay. I don't know. I think it's just because we grew up with SpongeBob and everything, yeah. and like they have like this new animation with it and everything, and I just don't know if it's gonna be up to par. I honestly haven't paid all that much attention to it. What's this Bob Marley? People have just searched Bob Marley. Yeah, I mean, why not? Unless his birthday is today. Is it? Yep. Happy birthday, Bob Marley. <laughs> May you rest <laughs> yeah, in peace. Yeah, Bob Marley. It's my birthday too. I don't know. I don't really do the whole like, oh, my favorite musician. I'm going to find out what their birthday is. Yeah, no. I like, don't I don't know what my favorite musician's birthdays are either, so. So our trending topics so far are Jupiter Ascending, which is the movie. movie, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, which the movie I don't care about, and Bob Marley, which I just, it's like pretty cool. Like I'll go with that. Radio Shack? I'm not gonna look into that whatsoever. I don't care. Oh, Seventh Son? That's such a good game. Do you want to talk about some gaming trending topics? I'm pretty mean, sure. Wow, this is a people movie. are saying that it's not a good game. Oh, this release it date was today. Really? They're making it into a movie? I did not know that. I'm all movies, aren't you? Apparently. Why do people only search movies is my biggest question right now. So we just read this cool article on Kayla Mueller. Mueller? Yeah. I don't know if that's her last name or not. We're going to go with it. Oh, it's from the New York Times, and it's about uh, this 26-year-old woman who was held hostage in Syria by ISIS, and um, I believe she is now dead. Yes. The building that she was in like collapsed after the airstrike, and a uh, fallen rubble like hit her and buried her, or whatever. But um, the governments, like the U.S. government and the Jordanian government, are like skeptical. They they said that there's like little proof to that actually happening. <sighs> That's so sad. I guess the good thing is though, if there can be any good in a terrible situation like this, 
she said, for as long as I live, I will not let this suffering be normal. And I think that mostly she was just very passionate about the work that she did do. She gave her life, I mean, really, to help the different people that she encountered, and it, that's really inspiring and just a beautiful little story with a tragic ending, unfortunately. I guess, like, you know, we don't really realize, like, how many, like, people really are either captured or just going into the army like everyone is like their families are affected and it's just it's hard to hear this kind of stuff especially because like you know we're having such a great time we're making videos and everything but people are like fighting in the war being captured and it's just it's really an eye-opener they said the common thread of kayla's life has been her quiet leadership and her strong desire to serve others and like i said earlier like i just feel like that just speaks volumes because she was willing to give her life in order to help others. She worked with Doctors Without Borders, I believe, and that's why she was over there. I think she was doing some like refugee work. I'm not entirely sure, so this could all be wrong. Like I said, it's a beautiful story with a tragic ending, and I think that it's something that can be respected and held highly. I also just want to like say thank you to Kayla for being a person that's willing to give her life so that others can have a better one. And so yeah, I think that's all I want to cover on that sad topic. Well, how do you feel? You want to move on to something else? We could talk about, you know, more uplifting. <laughs> more movies? More. <laughs> okay, I want to read the list of the five most searched teen pop stars. One is <laughs> Beyonce. How do you feel about Beyonce? The queen bee. There you go. You're down I, with I, know the some, I know some cold. Uh, number two is Justin Bieber. How do you feel about Jay Biebs? The Bieber. The dude's got, I don't know, he's got some problems. You know he's recently apologized for his actions. Did he? Yeah, he went I did on, not hear that. He went on to Ellen. I think that if he just stays in contact with Ellen, he'll be on the right track. Number three is Miley Cyrus. How do you feel about her? Um, she, like I get like she's doing her own thing now because she's trying to get away from like her childhood and stuff like that. But she's also just going to an extreme that I just don't think is appropriate. Taylor Swift is the next one. Taylor Swift, T-Swift. Yeah. What about her? I, I don't know. How, how do you feel about Taylor Swift? She's got some good songs. Okay. I mean, is that yeah, all she's, you feel? I'm, yeah, she, she's a good, good songwriter. Good, good musician. Good lady musician. Thing. All right, number five, which is fitting because there's five members. I think everybody knows who I'm talking about. One Direction. Tell me, how do you feel about them? Those boys. A. Eh? You like their music? It's catchy. Oh. Okay. It's catchy. Got you. I hear you. Which one do you think is the cutest? I don't even really know their <laughs> names, to be honest. I know one's like Neil or something. Oh, yeah. This is really close. Nile. Nile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look like an idiot. On this. But, uh, well, this has been um, an utter disaster, but it's what? been fun. How has this been an utter it's, disaster? Uh, whatever. I think that's how I end my videos by just saying whatever. Whatever. Yeah, basically. Anyways, we gotta go. So yeah, we do. Uh, bye. Go. Yeah. Cool. Are they just gonna watch us watching? Yep. That's how it works over here on this channel. People watch me stare at a laptop. Thing. Uh. Can you get that? Yep. <laughs>